So I'm here with EC Gaming's Neo. Neo, you just lost your game against Nip02. What went wrong? I think uh, on Dust 2 we were not that bad as the result shows. I think we could have been much better because we lost a few very stupid rounds, like one or three situations or something like that. And on Inferno we had 11-4 or 12-3 on the first side and then we lost badly the second one. Uh, I think yeah, we lost it on our because of our fault and we just did bad things and we should have won that one. Inferno for sure, but they were just better I guess. Okay, so you think uh, Nip will win the tournament against Vary Games or on Nexus in yeah, the end? I think so, they're very strong right now and no one can beat them at the moment. Or maybe people are getting close, but still that's pretty far. Okay, and your games before, like in the quarterfinal and in the group stage, are you confident with your performance? Yeah, we maybe we should have finished faster the games we've had before, because we always tend to uh, not focus 100% when we know we should win the game. That's bad for us, but that's how we do. So we should do much better against weaker teams. We give them free rounds during the game. So like against the uh, French team LDLC, we had an overtime. I think we should have finished that earlier. So everything went good, but still could have been better. Okay, was there any special match in the tournament you feel pretty good with? Uh, no, no, I don't know, not really. Maybe the NIP one, because we felt we had that. At the end it feels pretty okay that we almost had that one, finally. But and on the other hand it feels bad that we lost it. But still, I think that was a step for us. And now, from now on it's going to be better, I hope. Okay, it was the first real international LAN event in CSGO for you. Uh, did you expect before you came here that you can reach yeah, the semi-final? We've been to a few international, international events already, so we knew we can do, do good in here, so yeah. Just, yeah. Okay, how long do you actually play CSGO and EC gaming? Uh, right now, I think it's been over six months, eight months maybe, not sure, yeah, pretty while. Okay, and do you think that you can still perform better over the time or do you feel that you're right now at the same level like in Counter-Strike 1.6? I think you can always just go further, so we're just improving our game from tournament to tournament, I hope. And uh, we just had our first bootcamp before that event. And we're gonna have more, so probably, I hope we're gonna do much better. And we're not where we've been in 1.6 yet, for sure. Okay, for talking your preparation for the tournament, you said you may have had a boot camp before. Uh, do you just play usual games in the boot camps, or are you even analyzing replays maybe of your group stage enemies, or even uh, of the strong teams like Barry Games or Nip? I think we mostly focus on uh, the tactic part, tactical part of the game, just do new strategies or uh, correct the ones we've had before, just have some team talks and just focus on that one, not analyzing op opponent's game. We do that before the, the games. Yeah. After AT game was that successful in Counter-Strike 1.6, is it, it kind of hard for you as a team to, to learn to just, just be um, just in the higher part but not on the top teams this time? Obviously there's a pressure that we've been pretty strong at 1.6, everyone knew that and right now we're not as good as we were before. That's kind of a little bit overwhelming but we're just trying to get used to it and do our stuff and get better, that's it. Okay, what about the organization EC Gaming? Are they like, it's no problem for us that you are not as successful as you were in Counter-Strike 1.6 or do they do something like pressure you a bit no, to play more or better? We don't have any pressure from the organization. 
they believe in us and they just yeah like I said they believe in us and just wait for us to get better and we got pretty like very good support from their side so we cannot complain about anything we're very happy about ESC yeah okay SEC gaming is one of the maybe older teams in the uh, halls of Counter-Strike uh, how long will the team actually play Counter-Strike like plan to play it as long as you can or do you say like maybe two years and then it's it's over for us with Counter-Strike? I don't know, it's been a few years already that we've been thinking it's over. Like, yeah, so we just play until we have fun and we're still doing good, I guess. Okay, so uh, overall all the players in EC Gaming at the moment are just uh, still as confident as they were like one year before that they will, that you will compete in the same line, line, lineup for maybe the next time. We're trying to believe we can. Uh, we have we've been through some hard times lately, but it's not that bad. I mean, we still placed top three on events, so we're not exactly where we would like to be, but we're still at the top. So that's not completely satisfying, but that's still okay for us, and we're just yeah trying to get better, like I said. Okay, and uh, after this event here, what is coming next for you? Uh, we're gonna go to uh, Copenhagen Games in March, and after that there is a Tech Labs tournament in Moscow, I think, or before that, I don't know. So we're just gonna go to those two events in March, and one uh, Polish event at the beginning of March. Uh, yeah, like Cupid Azo tournament challenge, something like that. Okay, is there any special event you're looking forward to, especially maybe uh, the Copenhagen Games with the huge prize money or even the uh, ESOM, uh, AC, uh, Major Series 1 with yeah, the biggest prize pool of all comes to like go tournaments so far? Uh, not one in particular. I think we're I, happy to go to every event there is and just play as much as you can. Okay, as A series uh, uh, and even EMS one are online tournaments for the group stages, etc. Uh, is it more thing for you to play uh, online and partly offline tournament, or do you like more to, to just play on LAN like here? Yeah, I think we just we're an offline team. We are very bad on the internet, and we have problems with motivation on online games and with the focus. So. Yeah, we, I guess we prefer the offline matches. Okay, as you have some problems motivating online, are you having like training schedules every day or are you training like you, you feel like? Yeah, I think, I mean, we have schedules, like we start at 5 or 6 and play till 11, 5 days a week, but we do whatever we want, so it's not always like we should, we should do tech strategies, but we do, we do play, so like practice games, so instead of doing some important things, we sometimes just practice against other teams, but that's nothing bad. I think we're, uh, we have a good schedule with the trainings and we're sticking to it and that's pretty good for us. Okay, the last question, and which month and this year will we see ESG, ESC Gaming winning the first big LAN event? I would like to answer that question, but I don't know if that's if there is an answer to that, so I'll just wait and see. Okay, perfect. So thank you for the interview. Thank you.